hi guys so if you haven't suspected it already I am quite a motivated person I get a huge rush of excitement and energy and enthusiasm from having dreams from having goals from having lists of things that I want to achieve and accomplish for myself and I think if we don't have those goals we can very easily drift through life and just feel a little bit stuck but when we can set some incredible goals for ourselves that we're really passionately committed to and you know feel capable of achieving and have the right strategies and headspace and game plan behind us we give our, our lives a greater sense of meaning and control and direction and overall happiness now i want you guys to make 2017 an incredible one no matter what your dreams and goals are I want to try and help you create your own tools and strategies and ideas and brainstorming suggestions so that you give your goals the best chance of, of being achieved now don't get me wrong there are plenty of goals that I set myself that I don't even come close to achieving and that's actually okay because that gives me a great opportunity to look within myself see where I went wrong uh, what I misunderstood what I need to do to then achieve those goals and exceptional growth comes from that period or that process so again they are blessings in disguise now as I said I wanted this to be an incredible year for you and I think the setting of goals is people underestimate um, how hard it is actually to achieve those goals you know we, it's very easy for us to set these really bland and generic goals um, and then lose get distracted lose motivation um, or just let it just drop to the wayside and we drift through the year that's not going to happen to you anymore when you are as I said, committed to those goals it won't happen but you need to understand how to set those goals so that you do ignite that excitement and that passion and that determination within yourself now to try and connect to those goals this is a really important process I do not want you to ever again set boring um, goals I don't want to hear you guys set plans like I want to lose weight or I want to meet the perfect partner or I want to save X dollars that's not good enough you are much more creative and um, powerful in achieving uh, and setting yourself a better desire and path for yourself now I recently was given a workbook and um, it was actually created by another youtuber and I will link all of the details in the description box below so you can check this out for yourself and she's actually an amazing youtuber she's been very inspiring for me personally and she has a lot of videos on minimalism which you guys know I'm really passionate about now her workbook and as I said I'll put the description links in the um, in up the links in the description box below but her workbook takes you through a process where before you set your goals you actually stop and look back and reflect from what you achieved and what you didn't achieve in 2016 and she focuses on not just the tangible things but the intangible things because they are just as important yes that's great that you may have saved x dollars that's amazing well done but what about the growth that you experience as a person what about your ability to become a more patient person or a more compassionate person those are really valuable important things that you've achieved that are not measurable and you definitely need to stop and take the time and acknowledge yourself and give yourself a really good pat on the back so you can continue on taking that into 2017 so through her workbook and you can get a downloadable version um, and I've actually printed mine because I connect with pen to paper so I guess not very great not good for the environment but um, this is the way that I work and, the, um, and that's the most important thing so she takes you through and asks you some really powerful questions and some of these questions and I'll even share with you some of my answers but she asks you what are you most proud of what were your highlights what worked what didn't work things that you know the things that you learnt. like the things I learned for myself in 2016 is um, that I really love growing as a person I also learned that I can only take on so much I have a bad habit of saying yes to everything and I've got to stop doing that I also realized well learned that I've got to be stricter with Rocco I um, have a rubber arm with him and um, he's old enough now for me to have some um, stronger boundaries in place and um, I need to sort of enforce those I also realized I'm a lot more capable than I realized and I also realized 
and learnt for 2016, I need to be very careful of who I let into my life. Um, it talks about like things that evolved in your life, the people that made a difference in your life. And again, this was really powerful because there are people in my life that I wouldn't say I took for granted, but I, it, this question made me stop and realize and acknowledge they're a lot more important to me than I actually realized. People, the girlfriends of mine that give the support and friendship, they're reliable, they help me um, get a sense of clarity. Um, but they built the friends of mine that challenge me and um, you know contribute to my own growth um, the friends that inspire me and motivate me so asking those questions again very important she also asked you about the, the joyous moments of 2016 and again it's not until someone asks you these things that you actually stop and have these powerful conversations with yourself which are so important especially when you're going to be setting new goals for yourself things that you're grateful for she then goes on once you've done the processing of the previous year, which also gives you a lot of, um, I guess, a sense of gratitude, um, uh, which is a very powerful um, emotion, but also setting a theme for 2017. And my theme for 2017 is great achievements. So she, again, she asks you these really powerful questions that and actually work out what goals do you really want to achieve because sometimes we set as I said we set these generic ones that we're not really that passionate about and if you're not passionate about that particular goal it won't have the likelihood of achieving that goal is very slim so don't waste your precious energy um, trying to achieve something if you're not you know, going to embrace the journey and the challenges and the roller coaster and trying to achieve that goal so she's I guess sieves out what you what you're re who you really are and what is really important to you and a very powerful in this process. She asks you things like, what, what, what can I do to live my theme? And things that I, you know, again, it's not until you, ha even though it might float around in your head, it's not until you actually put pen to paper or say it out loud that you realize it. So I realize I need more balance in my life. I need to be more organized. I need to get better at delegating. I need to value my quality time more. And I need to get stricter with maintaining my routine because that's how I get stuff done. She asks you things like, what do you want to invite into your life? Um, how do you want to feel? Like for me, and that's, I want to feel happy. I want to feel a sense of achievement. I want to feel um, greater stability and tranquility and continue on my, I guess, um, health and fitness goals and my sense of clarity. She asks you things of what you want to let go of in 2017. And for me, these are, I'll even share with them with, them with you because they're quite personal, but I want to be less, less anxious. I want to like go of my trust issues, I want to eat less junk food, and when I say junk food, I'm talking about chocolate because I eat so much of that, and I want to make sure I try and get to bed earlier, particularly on the weekend. Um, she has a creative process um, that she goes through, and I have seen this before um, through a TED talk, but it's where you, you draw where you are right now and where you want to be, and because it triggers I guess a different side of your brain again you feel so much more open and um, motivated and inspired to really understand more of who you are and what you're all about so talks about vision boards and how to do them um, and then she goes into my five favorite pillars of um, setting goals and that is a health goal relationship goal intellectual goal financial goal and spiritual goal and helps you through the whole entire process so that you are setting for yourself a meaningful valuable goals for 2017. She then goes on um, to talk about things that you need to do to help achieve those things so and how and what you need to do to create the year that you want for 2017 and she looks it makes you list activities that you want to do um, and I'll share with you some of these I really want to learn how to play chess I want to get better at Italian um, and she asks you uh, what makes you feel alive and you know this for me is meditation seeing my friends getting up early going for dips in the ocean um, again a lot of it's connected to feelings because those feelings are going to give you the focus and motivation to not only set those goals but remain committed to them throughout the year and it really is a, a, um, a great workbook now what I love about this workbook is that it's a workbook it's not a book that's going to take you three weeks to read I read this on a plane flight which took an hour and a half and it, that was great so it actually got me into the right headspace but and she recommends you review this every month. Now, I've actually been reviewing it every week. And 
which has been great because I am continuously adding more and more points to these workbooks. So I think I'm even feeling more motivated than what I did when I first worked on this workbook. So uh, if you're looking at setting some great goals for yourself and you're planning on an amazing 2017, I highly recommend checking out her um, website. I've put the link in the description box below. And I look forward to hearing how you think you're going with your goals, because as I said, I want this 2017 to be an incredible year for all of us and to really bond and share with each other how we're going, how we're able to help ourselves and how we're able to help other people around us. And on that note, I'm going to um, read you this powerful mantra that she's written. And I think this is something everybody should do, um, re read as often as they can, even if it means saving your phone and reading it if you're feeling down in the dumps. And Rocco even drew on the back of it for me. But it says, you put your name in here, I, Canna Grace Campbell, I am radiant, I am powerful, I am passion. I am worthy, I am love, I am light. I am magical, I am incredible, and I am wildly beautiful. So things like that that are going to help you increase your confidence and self-esteem so that you can be the best person that you can possibly be in achieving your goals. I think this is definitely a worthwhile investment. So as I said, description is in um, the link is in the description box below. Um, it's about 30 US dollars for the downloadable version and I think 50 US dollars for the hard copy. But I look for, as I said, I look forward to hearing from you and please let me know what you think and how you're tracking and I'll be doing more videos on motivation and inspiration, but this is definitely a fantastic starting place. I'll see you on Money Monday. Ciao for now. Bye.